Howdy, assholes. Are you 13? Are you? Well, let me tell you something. If you're 13 years old or older, sit back, grab yourself some popcorn, enjoy the show. You're allowed to stay. But if you're not 13, get the fuck out. Right now. This show is not for you. It is not for children. It is for adults and young adults, and you should go ask your parents why they suck at their job because they're letting YouTube raise their kid. So yeah, go do that. Come back when you're 13. Enough said. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there is actually a slight change of plans. I initially planned on releasing this video on Friday. Instead, obviously, I'm releasing it today. And, uh, yeah, um... I'm actually releasing this video early because I did not expect the Godzilla Jr. remodel to drop, and so me and Noah are going to be getting to work on making that video. Um, that being said, uh, the Godzilla, uh, the thermonuclear Godzilla video I think is our highest quality video yet, and hopefully you guys agree with me. If not, eh, it's your personal preference. Whatever. I don't give a shit at this point. Um, yeah. See y'all on the flip side. And now, Thermonuclear Godzilla. Is he worth the fucking price? <laughs> Flame Lizard. Not bad at all. Thermonuclear Godzilla. Godzilla.
thermonuclear Godzilla. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Before I uh, say anything, I will say that yes, I do own all of the game passes for Kaiju Universe. I personally don't see a problem with buying the uh, game passes, but here's what I will say. I'm sure that there's going to be a few people who are irritated as shit that Burning and Thermo are not the two most powerful Kaiju in the game. Now, here's the thing. If Burning and Thermo were both capable of being unlocked via the game and weren't able to be uh, just straight up bought, well, then I would uh, tend to agree with people that, yes, they should be the most overpowered uh, kaiju in the game because that's film accuracy. But two things. One, <laughs> let's be honest, people. Film accuracy in the Godzilla franchise does not make for good gaming. Alright, it just doesn't. Because if it did, well, first off, Burning in Thermo would absolutely annihilate everything. And second, well, no one would ever play as the Showa Kaiju, period. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, I hate to say it, but that's, a, that's, that's legitimately, like, how it would go. Um, and the second thing is, I actually really like the fact that there are kaiju in the game that are more powerful than Thermo and Burning, because Burning and Thermo are both kaiju that are exclusively Game Pass. You have to spend real money in order to get them. I don't necessarily have a problem with having to buy uh, creatures and stuff like that for video games. What I have a problem with is when a game is designed to where if you do purchase those things you're basically an unstoppable monster. You may as well have made the game yourself, and it takes either a hacker or a game developer to kill you. So, yeah. I really like the fact that Thermo and Burning are actually not the most overpowered creatures in the game, because it bitch slaps the shit out of those little pay-to-win losers, whose only superpower is money, frankly. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that's, um... That's all I really got to say on the subject. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. And yeah, there's one more fight. Fuck you, pay to win pussies. This is what you get. Thermonuclear Godzilla. Godzilla 2021. Copy the 
guess the irony is not lost on me that in the video focusing on thermonuclear, his intro happens to be the least interesting to look at and the shortest. Uh, don't worry, uh, I will be fixing that for later videos, but for now, you know, it is good for what it is. And, yeah, that's that. Alright, y'all know the drill. Like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Y'all want more videos, right? More kick-ass shit? Well, good, because I want more views. Let's help each other on this.